it's April with Hair 101 and I'm going to show you how to do a long hair layer haircut on this cute girl. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to do it dry. And I'm doing it dry because we're going to be doing a color next and you can check out that video um, next week I guess. You have to wait a week to see it. But it's going to be really pretty. Maybe I'll let you see a sneak peek of what it will look like so you can get excited for next week's. But to get started we're just going to take from the ears up and clip it out of the way so that we can get a little bit of this length gone on the bottom. And I'm just going to clip all this up and out of the way so that we can, because it's really, really thick. So we need to establish the length back here. All right, so I'm just going to even up this bottom, take a couple inches off. And I'm deep point cutting because the haircut that she wants is really soft layers. There's not a lot of really harsh lines in it. It's not really blunt, it's more soft, so. All right, I'm just gonna let the rest of this down and see if I can see the guide underneath. Oh, sorry, Leah. Okay. <laughs> That's why we got to chop some of that off, huh? Exactly. <laughs> All right, it's still a little bit too thick, so I'm going to take a little bit above her ears and pull that up so that I can see the guide. And her hair's really, really straight, so I don't have to worry about flat ironing or anything, but if you were going to do a dry cut, you'd want to make sure that it was straight while well, it's dry so it's easier to work with. If you have a bunch of waves, it's a little bit harder to get a straight line in the bottom. So now the layers are starting to match up because she did have a little bit of layering in here. So we won't have to pull too many more layers down to cut because it won't reach. So she pretty much just has an all over one length haircut right now because we chopped off the part that was longer than the layer so all right let's take this all down and make sure none of it meets up and it doesn't so make sure that they're straight across with what I just cut from the other bottom part. And it's just like an inch or so that needs to be trimmed off. Other side too. Just make sure that that line continues to the front here. All right, so now we're gonna do some fun layers in the front. And to do this, I'm just gonna pull the hair into my fingers and start right about her chin and just walk the scissors down while I'm doing this. And that's just gonna kind of take some of the, the bulk out. And that'll give her a really pretty perimeter. We're gonna do a bunch of interior layers also. But I want to just get this perimeter done first so that we can play with the insides. There we go. Same thing on this side, except for you just have to flip your hand around this way. So we're going to start right at her chin again. And your shears need to be sharp to do this, especially on dry hair. If it's not working so great, you might need to get them sharpened. All right, so now that we have the layers around the face, we're going to take the hair up and do a bunch of fun layers in the top. Okay, the easiest way for me to do these layers, 
I love to do this and I've done it before around someone else but I'm going to show it to you again because I love doing it like this. I usually leave just about an inch or an inch and a half in the front and this is definitely something that you do on dry hair. Even if you cut the rest of the, the haircut with wet you would want to dry it before you would do this part. And then I go just about an inch above the ear. So I leave an inch around the face, inch above the ear, and then I just bring both my fingers. So I just kind of draw a line and then a line back to the back. And you want it right below the roll of the head or right at the roll of the head. And this is a really, really fun way to cut layers. And they always look so pretty. They blend really, really well. And you can get a pretty dramatic look with it too, depending on how much you cut. So we're going to take all of this hair and make sure it's combed really, really smooth into a really high ponytail. It may take a little while to get the snarls out, but I just kind of keep working up as I comb them out until it's easy to comb. And then I usually go over to this left side and I comb it all the way flat. I take the comb flat this way. So it shapes it more into like a mohawk section and then I go on the other side and do it a couple times too. So now you have this really, really tight and you can see some of the layers I cut in the front part of her hair up here. You're not going to be messing with those too much. They can just fall out if they fall out. But now what we're going to do back here, so this is the most important part of this. You're going to take the hair where it lays right at the back and you're going to take it and match it up and that's where your guide is. So I need to move down my fingers a little bit because that's there above where the cut is and we're going to try it again. So we're grabbing it down here and holding it and then stretching it up to see where to cut. So that's about where I need to cut. And this seems really, really scary because you're cutting off that much hair. But here's the thing. I usually just keep it tight and then just cut into it like this, big, deep point cuts. Just make sure you're not cutting this part of the hair underneath. Make sure you keep it away. And then once I get that mostly chunked out, I do it again just to make sure I got it nice. See, there's some that are missing out there. Chop those off. Okay, so then we're just going to go in here and chunk it out a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm going to check it and make sure that it's short enough. So bring it up, grab this piece down here again. I have to comb out the pieces of hair that I got stuck in it. There we go, from cutting. We're going to grab it, stretch it all the way up, and it just meets up there. So the length is good. I'm just going to need to texture it. So what I do is I shove my knuckle into it and fan it out. So I comb it up straight, get a nice good grip on it fan it out with my knuckle and then I go in like this and I just deep point cut and this is just going to texture it out and what you're trying to achieve here is kind of like a see-through soft fan not quite see-through see-through but not so dense we're trying to get some of this thickness out and you can even change sides I usually do in fact I usually cut a little bit from this side and then I'll go over to the other side so that I can see the other angle. So then I'll move over to this side. Same thing. So you can see this dark and then this light where it starts to just kind of let the light through. That's how you know it's working. And you want to just keep working at it until it's nice and soft. And this is going to like totally blend in all these layers. And then when you let it down, you have blended layers. You don't have any really harsh lines and they blend all the way down to your longer length. But doesn't it feel light? It does feel light. Yeah, that, it lightened up so much. And you can see her hair doesn't look super, super thin on the ends here. It's still actually kind of that blunt look. So if you want to get rid of that, you can layer it out a little bit more too. But some people like that with long hair because they don't want to feel like they have super thin ends. 
So they want to feel like they have some of the length on there still. All right, and then I'm going to check the back and make sure that those layers we did blend into the back layer that we did too. So to check that, you're just going to take a section in the back here, a couple inches wide, and I just comb it straight out parallel to the floor. And you can see right here that it can blend a little bit more. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that out so that it blends a little bit better. And I'm going to do that all the way around the head, just checking it. Okay, I think we're ready to color this beautiful hair up. Oh yeah, it's much better to not have to color as much. I'm kind of happy about that. <laughs> it does. All right, you guys, that is the haircut that we're doing on Leah. You can see we cut quite a bit of length and a lot of thickness off. Her hair feels so much lighter. Like it feels like half of the hair, but it's still long. So there's the front. And then when we spin, I'll pull it in the back so you can see the back. There we go. And you can see all these layers that she has. This is gonna help her get a ton of height. She's gonna be able to do a lot more stuff with it. Ponytails won't hurt her head anymore, so that's gonna be exciting, right? Yes. Thanks for watching, you guys, and make sure you check out her color video. The link will be right here. And make sure you give us a thumbs up and comment and share this video with anyone that you know that might be trying to get better at hair. I hope you enjoyed this video and for more videos, you will just need to stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and give this cute girl a thumbs up for her beautiful hair and we'll see you next time, bye. All right, you guys, we are done with our strawberry melt and this is the result. Go ahead and turn around. We'll show you guys the back and it looks really natural on her. I happy with it. I think it turned out okay. No, not okay. It turned out great. Don't say that. <laughs>